Hey crowd vibers, welcome to part three of this tutorial series I'm producing called How to Prepare for a Reggae Music Festival. Today, we're going to cover day of logistics. That includes getting there, navigating the festival, and a few safety tips. Well, let's start with how you're getting to the festival and getting back to your place. Are you driving and parking? You should know the parking situation before you arrive. Have cash or credit cards ready. Know if you have to prepay or pay when you exit. Don't forget your parking ticket and remember where you parked. Drop a pin if you need to. Are you taking public transit? Know the fares and where the pickup and drop off locations are. Figure out your evening transportation before the end of the night when everyone else is leaving all at once. Some options could be taking ride shares, scooters, bikes, boats, whatever is available. Know the pickup locations and be prepared for surge rates. At the end of the night, walking to a nearby bar or restaurant to hang out for a while could save you the surge and you could refuel for the next day if you choose. Every festival is different and usually includes multiple transportation options to get there and home. Here are a few examples from our travels. At Cali Roots, we had our friends just drop us off at the front gate. At Cali Vibes, we took the bus to the festival. It dropped us off near the main entrance and we walked slowly back to our Airbnb, which is just over a mile away. At Reggae Rise Up, we parked at the Sundial parking deck for $10 and used the free trolley to get us to and from Vinoy Park. Next up is navigating the festival. The festival map is your new best friend. We like to take a picture to have it on our phones for easy access. On the first day, everything's gonna seem new and fresh and wild, but by day two or even halfway through day one, you should be navigating like a pro. I always like to find the water refill station first. This way, we have hydration while we start to explore the grounds. You should know how to move between stages, and most of you probably wanna find the merch tent, visit vendor booths, and you should definitely know where the bathrooms are. Last but not least, we have a few safety tips for you. You should know where the first aid tent is and where any emergency exits are, just in case. Bring any medications you might need. Many festivals do not allow re-entry. You should also have a pre-arranged meeting spot for your group in case your phone dies, in case service is interrupted, or insert other life moment. Always keep your items secure. Remember, not everyone attending the event is there for the music and the good vibes. Unfortunately, we've heard of a few pickpocket stories from our friends. Be alert and aware of your surroundings. Well, that's it for part three. Next in the series, maximizing your music and making the most of your day. If you like the crowd vibes, smash the like button, share your favorite videos, and subscribe to get alerts for new stuff. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.